two hours early this morning. So I've got some alarm ready. And uh, to new plans for eating at eight. Oops. So, last meal, here it is. All right, here it is, last couple of bites. Seven days without food, here we are. 10.40 and should be like a little hungry because I usually eat two snacks by now. I thought I'd be hungrier probably because I ate a light breakfast. Now we're 20 minutes later, really starting to feel hungry. Got my first tummy grumble. So it's lunchtime right now and I'm really hungry because everybody else is eating and I'm not. We're like six hours in right now, so. So I uh, just finished school and I'm on my way to like Plan B or something. It's like a nutritional clinic and I'm gonna go interview Hopefully she says it's okay because I've already started. Uh, either way, I'm gonna keep fasting, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, so quick correction: it's actually be natural. Not, yeah, here it is, right there. So, so bad news. She doesn't like the fast either. She was like super drastic, like, oh, it's terrible for your body. So I'm sitting here, kind of feeling nervous about it. I'm gonna keep doing it because uh, that's what the project is. Um, I'm gonna go based off the research. Uh, see how, see what happens. Yeah. I'm doing my Spanish homework right now, but it's taking me twice as long because I'm constantly thinking about food. <laughs> I had to come downstairs because it's my family is eating dinner and I'm getting super hungry looking at all the food. I'm gonna watch a movie now, so I don't have to think about it so much. 12 hour mark, so that's good, I guess. Hunger pains definitely increasing in intensity like big time. It's weird because like everything I think about now is like about food. When I go back to the house, I'm like, oh shoot, now I can go back and get food because I'm just so like used to associating going back to the house and eating. Just like every thought I have is like, it was always like a connection to food, so lost now. So I'm gonna go take a hot shower. Hopefully it made me feel better. <laughs> just at 11 o'clock, and I just spent the last <laughs> hour and a half watching all my videos food. I have a problem. I'm like super cold all the time because like metabolism creates heat in your body. And so, because I have no food left, so I'm not creating any heat. So, I've got like three layers on right now. It's 9.46, day two, minute 24 hours. Yeah! Yeah! Oof, I'm kind of tired. It took me like an hour to fall asleep. I wasn't like tossing and turning, I just didn't fall asleep. I woke up at 7 this morning. Not feeling too hungry. Just kind of complacent. Oh, I'll just head to school. It's like 1.13. It's late because of the ACT day, so I'm feeling like super lightheaded a lot. Just lethargic. It's hard to like get up and do stuff. Also, like my body is like pins and needles kind of feeling. But like <laughs> like super intense. So that's new. I can't think it'd be good, but it's not painful or anything. So keep with it. And uh, hopefully school's okay, because I can't think very much, so, yeah. So, now I'm school day over. It was pretty good. I lifted after school today. It was kind of, everything felt sore really quickly. That's, you know, because I don't have anything to work off of, so. I was just doing, you know, curls and squats and, you know, just even a little bit. Maybe, like, super sore and stuff, so. I'll keep doing that every day and keep you guys updated. But, yeah. Good fucking day so far. Day three, feeling pretty hungry. I fall back asleep. 48 hours in. Um, so before I went to sleep for another two hours, I passed out. Like, it wasn't bad. I just stood up too fast. It was less than a minute. I just like, fell on the floor and I woke up and I had no idea why I was on the floor. So, gotta be careful about that. The fam is making BLTs right now. Nothing more torturous than the smell of bacon on day three of no eating, so... Came downstairs to escape. 10 o'clock. Wednesday night. Eight hours in. Whew. This has been a journey so far. I'm starting to plan out what foods I'm gonna eat when I'm back off the diet. I'm making egg drop soup. Well, Chinese. Three hours later. Mexican, whatever. I just really feel like eating. I'm going through a bit of existential crisis right now. Everything I've thought about. It's like revolving around food. I'm always just thinking about like the next meal. I always like 
pursuit. My body, well, my mind is like thinking about, okay, when's the next meal? Give little purpose to my day, because I'm like always thinking like, okay, might as well just go to sleep now. Get the day over with as quick as possible. So, so I just got done with the workout. I think when I'm done on Monday, definitely a lot sweaty this time. No, hold on, I'm a little more tired too. Today went well though. I mean, just thought about food the entire day. 72 hours in. Nothing to look forward to because you're just hungry all the time. That's all you're thinking about. I was just cooking some soup for the fam and cutting some celery. And I'm so used to just like, there's a tidbit that fell off. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think about it. Just automatically just whoop, right in the mouth. And I was shooting it up and I was like, oh shoot. I can't swallow this, so I spit it out quick. <laughs> but that was about the most interesting thing that happened. Day five, I was feeling good. Car broke down, so. Now I'm just waiting to go to school. <laughs> Good news, the rent saved me. Thanks, mom. <laughs> so, I'm off to school. Still hungry, though. Right now, makes hours so far. We broke a hundred. Talk about some of the, like, the repercussions. Like right now, and every morning I wake up, I have like a super sore throat, reflex a little bit, and then I've been always getting super lightheaded, so I have to take that slow. So this is cold, like my toes, even though I have like two pairs of socks on right now. And I'm, all this stuff is kind of bearable, it's not like... I've been trying to kind of verbalize this earlier and I think it, it's kind of making more sense to me. It's like, when I'm not eating, it's hard to enjoy anything because like, you're always just thinking about eating and there's no like enjoyment of all the things. It's kind of like, if you remember back to like Maslow's hierarchy, like physiological needs come first and then all of the needs come afterwards. And because those aren't being met, it's just like nothing else matters. It's so weird. Yes, science! We made it to day six. Freaking day six. Feeling pretty good today, not too hungry. This is like the first time I'm not seriously thinking about food all the time, and that's awesome. Well, at least I think it is, I don't know. According to the doctors, it means uh, I'm dying inside. My organs are dying. Mm, I don't think that's true. Last night I did not get a good sleep at all though. That's the first night I didn't get any good sleep. Very excited for tomorrow though. Cannot wait to eat. It is eight o'clock on Saturday night. 12 hours away from being done with this freaking shite. Uh, I am so ready to eat. I've been looking at food all night. Yeah, I'm looking at these Baja Limones. I'm so freaking excited. Like, I cannot explain in words how excited I am for tomorrow. I'm probably not going to be able to sleep, and that's how I feel. I don't even want to go to bed. I just want to stay up all night and eat. But just, like, not have to stay up all night and just eat. I just want to eat. <laughs> it's been really tough. You're supposed to not feel hungry after like the third day and I felt hungry every day. I lost 14 pounds. It's a lot. I'm glad it's almost over. It was really hard. So I'll start with the mushrooms because that's going to be the tasty version. So that's going to be the first thing I eat, first thing I try. And I'll start with something that's a little bit more manageable, which is the dim, uh, the dro egg drop soup. So yeah, let's do this. That is gorgeous. So mushrooms, I hate mushrooms just because of the texture kind of thing, but here we go. It's been three weeks now since I finished the seven day fast. Just to go over some things, um, it was interesting. Uh, it was definitely very hard. It got progressively easier and then worse at the end just because I was ready to be over with it. There was a little bit of pain. We had uh, mornings where we woke up with uh, throat soreness. Um, there was tingles, a lot of lightheadedness. Obviously, I fainted once. I was very slow. Um, where it was, you know, you're very slowed down. Everything, every thought process was slow. A lot of existential moments in the future. I don't think I would do another one. As a healing mechanism, it is, you know, a resourceful use, a uh, resourceful use. Unless I had something drastic, I probably wouldn't use it. That's pretty much it. Seven days of fasting. Shiver me timbers. Yarr. Fast Hell no. Just roast the crap out of me. Whack, bro. 
know where we at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, um, I don't want to say retarded, 